Hi, I'm Kimberly Miner, and I'm a climate scientist. Welcome to Curiosity Cam. This is What's the Scoop, and I'm gonna answer your top five, five, <laughs> top five questions on climate change and how it affects you. Okay, so question one comes from Jesse. Hey Jesse, what aspect of climate change are you studying? So I study a ton of things about climate change. Now I'm looking at the Arctic. Think about like the North Pole, it's cold almost year round. Now it gets a little warmer in the summer. But I'm looking at how the soil that's supposed to be frozen, it's called permafrost, is thawing. And as this soil starts thawing, all sorts of creatures that we know of and some that we don't know about are waking up. Potentially there's microbes, some scary viruses too, things like anthrax that you may have heard about or the plague that you may have heard about. The Black Plague is literally what you studied in history class. When people were infected, they died, and then people in the old days buried them in permafrost because they thought, hey, this is never gonna thaw. Well, now it's thawing. The concern is that we might actually have the virus exposed to more people. It's really, really important to make sure that we know if any of these viruses can have an impact before they come down and potentially make people like us sick. So question number two comes from Andrea. Hey Andrea. The question is, can the permafrost melting in the Arctic affect me in Texas right now? Wow, that's a great question. The first thing we should talk about is that permafrost actually thaws. So it's made up of all different kinds of things like plants and rocks and minerals and some ice. But so we say that it thaws, not that it melts. Something that happens anywhere on the earth can affect other things everywhere else. And this is particularly true for greenhouse gases. They could make things like sea level rise, potentially hurricanes or tornadoes, worse over time in Texas. Question number three is from Zoe. Hey Zoe, it's a fun name. Do you see and learn about animals on your explorations as well? This is actually really cool. You see this image, this is from Antarctica, where I got to spend four months spotting whales. So I would sit at the top of the ship and help the whale people spot whales in the ocean and we would count them. And so that's how we know how many of the whales are in that part of Antarctica. And then we can make an educated guess from there about how how many whales are in that whole section of Antarctica. So question four comes from Emily. If certain bacteria have not died, have you seen bacteria from dinosaurs? Ooh, good question. Maybe not from dinosaurs. What we have seen, bacteria that lived in or lived near things like mammoths in Russia in the permafrost. Over years and years and years, they've excavated, they've taken out a bunch of these mammoths and exposed them. And there's all sorts of different things that we're finding now um, as the permafrost thaws more and more. Question five is from Willow. Hey Willow, that's also the name of a tree, cool name. What is the strangest thing you've seen come out of permafrost micro? Microbes. microbes, little tiny organisms that eat carbon and then they fart out greenhouse gases. So we've got a bunch of microbes waking up who are gonna be eating a ton, a ton of soil, a ton of carbon and farting all the time. And all of that farting might actually make climate change worse. It ends up causing so much methane. They found this giant hole in the earth in Russia that they think was caused from a giant explosion of these farts. So right now it hasn't happened to places where there's people nearby, but it's possible that the more permafrost thaws, the more these explosions are going to happen. So when these explosions happen, I don't think you'd be able to smell it like a big fart. I would be really surprised if you could. Well, if we're talking about climate change, one really amazing thing is that your guys' generation is already doing so much. People are using their voices to talk not only to their parents, but to people who govern them, who make the laws. It's also really important that we think about working together as a global community. Since this is gonna affect everyone in the world, it's really important to understand where everyone else is coming from. If you wanna learn more about climate change, you can go to my website in the description below and click on the Goldie Blocks icon. Watch more Goldie Blocks Curiosity Camp videos here. Send us your questions on Instagram to have them featured in a future campisode.